Uh, it, it, it is good to be back in, in the state of Wisconsin. I, I was mentioning that and when I first moved to Chicago, I never got to Chicago from the uh, You know, every once in a while, I had some friends who were going to school up here, and I'd drive up to Madison. And I have some fun times up here at Madison. I can't give you all the details. <laughs> but <laughs> and I have good memories here. And may I say that uh, you Badgers uh, are looking pretty good this year. <laughs> you delivered quite a beating on Saturday. Yeah. Almost wasn't fair. Now, I I'm not going to say a word about the Bears and the Packers. I'm not going to say anything about it. You know I look to see him. I'm not going to say a word about it. Why spoil this great mood? Because I, 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 it's just nice to see that you're as fired up today as you were on Saturday. So don't think about Sunday. I, I need, I need you though fired up, man. I need you fired up. I, we need you to stay fired up. Because there is an election on November 2nd that's going to say a lot about the future. said Sunday. Monument Monday. Your future and the future of our country. Now, two years ago, you defied the conventional wisdom in Washington. The, the message out there was, no, you can't. No, you can't overcome the cynicism of our politics. No, you can't overcome the power of special interests in Washington. No, you can't make real progress on the big challenges of our time. No, you can't elect a skinny guy with a funny name, Barack Hussein Obama. They said, no, you can't, but what did you say, Wisconsin? You, you proved that the power of everyday people, going door to door, neighbor to neighbor, friend to friend, was stronger than the forces of the status quo. It made more difference than PAC money. It made more difference than all the TV advertising. You tapped into something that this country hadn't seen in a very long time. You did that. And every single one of you is a shareholder in that mission of rebuilding our country and reclaiming our future. 